and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I'm Kaz and welcome to my video. Now today, um, well, <laughs> we're going to go through what I've hauled March, April and May. The reason being, um, as you may have gathered, if you caught my last video, I have been away for three months um, looking after my granddaughter and my daughter. And not only that, suffering with various different illnesses. She not say illnesses, but being ill and um, coping with them. But hey, I'm back. Here's my haul. And this is what I've bought in the last three months. If you want to find out, carry on watching. <laughs> no apparent order I'll just get straight into it the first thing I bought was a repurchase I won't go on about it you all know about it I like to set my powder after putting my foundation and setting powder on with this is the Maribu Mari Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe cucumber and green tea I absolutely love this I also like it after my skincare to uh, just so you're not going to bed with sticky cream, it sets your face. It doesn't set your face, but it, it refreshes your face. So you're not rubbing your skincare all over your sheets. So I do like that. Excuse me, leaching forward. It's right over there. And another thing is from Beauty Bay, this, if you wanted to know what shop I am delving into. Um, and this is the Yes to Coconut sheet mask for hydrate and restore i have used a yes to product before which was the moisturizer and i absolutely adored it um so i thought i'd try one of their sheet masks throw that back over there and free i got a yes to dual ended mask tool which is for a peeling mask so you can put it on and then use the other end to get your corners to take it back off i absolutely adore that but it's not for that one. I got it free with a sheet mask, but it's not a sheet mask tool, but we will use it. Another thing I got is a House of De Debauch brush soap. Brush soap. Now, if you remember my brush cleaning video uh, a couple of months ago, three and four months ago, um, I used a Violet Voss one, and I bought this from the Violet Voss bit. Voila, here it is. Isn't it pretty? Now, I bought a small one last time to have a look um, and just see what it's like. Oh, the glitter's coming out of it. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, just to see what it was like, I uh, I used a brush soap and I've got a list going. I've nearly run out of it. And I will update you guys with what, um, how many brush brushes I cleaned with the tiny one so you can get the uh, gist of whether this was worth it now this particular one was on sale for £12 um, and the small one was 10 so this is better value it's a bigger one like a bigger one anyway the next thing I got is the Lunar Beauty from M uh, Manny MUA here on YouTube and it's one of his highlighters now I've always wondered what the highlighters are like so I thought right I'm going to have a go I liked his first palette which is the Life's a Drag I didn't get the second palette it's too boring for me uh, too neutral I've got loads of neutral palettes loads and loads so I got this to try which is it's sparkly I love it and inside we'll throw that bit away as well there you go and this one is Mercury. Yeah, Mercury. It's a Moon Prism Powder Highlighter and it's Mercury. Now it looks really gold. And uh, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there it is. Look. Ooh, I might put some on that one actually. Hmm. Yeah, let's sparkle a little bit more, eh? There we go. <laughs> so there you go. Um, I can't wait to actually use that when I'm getting ready. Right, now, uh, Beauty Bay, yep. Yeah. The next one is Breakfast at Tiffany's Lipstick from Jeffree Star. Now I am cheating this one. I did not actually pay for this. This was a present from my friend, Sarah. And there it is. 
beautiful absolutely yes dark eye and these lips thank you very much love it um, and I also from Jeffree Star did buy and it did come the day after it all released but the problem being was I was so ill I just couldn't do the video that's when it started anyway but you know how long ago that was so here it is the blue blood palette oh, I have had it out of the box and had a look and that's it there it is beautiful and I might do a hmm, palette bingo, I think, with this one because it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. I don't want to. There we go. Look at that. My colours. Absolutely gorgeous. I will be doing a palette bingo with that. Pop it over there. Um, and to go with it, I also got my first Jeffree Star lip kit. Oh, I've gone dark. Hello. I'm still testing my ring light. <laughs> oh, there we go. If I stay still, there you are, is the lip kit. Um, the Blue Blood lip kit, which is there. If you want swatches, please ask below. No problem at all. I can do lip swatches of these. Um, but I like them as eyeliners. Most of these will be eyeliners as well as lipsticks. So there you go. Can't wait. Ooh. Right. And that's it for Beauty Bay. My hair's bugging me. There we go. Um, then I will move on to, well, I got two of these from Morphe. Um, it is really the only Morphe product I absolutely adore. Um, I have had the Jaclyn Hill first palette, but uh, I depotted some colours I liked and got rid of it. I've got to do a palette declutter. I have got so many and I might do a collection and declutter. I won't get rid of obviously Jeffree Stars and things like that. But I think I really need to cut them down because I've got palettes over there stacked up. There's at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten Jeffree Stars. And there's another couple here that I haven't actually reviewed or done anything with as yet. So I'm naughty. Anyway, back to Morphe. This is the one product I adore from Morphe and it's the continuous setting spray. One, you're not going to... Because I like to soak my face in setting spray. Make sure the grease, the oil stays away, which is doing okay at the moment. It is a bit later on in the day. Um, but I do like it and it doesn't seem to cake up my eyes up and crease my eyes up, which is another thing. When you get into my age, you need stuff that doesn't crease your eyes up. But I do like that. So I've got them. On to drugstore and high street. First is this, which is what I've got from Soap and Glory. I actually got two of these fat cat eyeliners. Um, the reason being is, if I can get him out... I absolutely adored the Body Shop Fat Eyeliner and they've stopped doing it. It's so easy, there it is look, it is so easy to do a wing by putting that on first, it won't do it on my hand, <laughs> putting that on first and then just, go. anyway, I can show you in one of the get readies. So what I've done is I've got a second one because I think it was buy three, get one free. So I've got a second one to throw into the 200 subscribers giveaway. Woo! And one for myself, of course. And I've also got a two-in-one brow filling pencil and brush, which is here. And it's called Archery from Soap and Glory. And this is a thin lined pencil. Oh dear. It's scratchy. Ow. Uh, uh I'm not liking that at the moment. It's very light. I've had my eyebrows filled in and dyed. Tinted. Oh, that's just snapped. I don't know if this is going to be a good one. But that is so scratchy. We shall try this. Mm -hmm. We shall try it and then of course you've got the spoolie on the other end. It's even made my hand red underneath. That's how ouchy that is. Anyway, moving on. 
I went into Body Shop and repurchased some of my favourites, which is the Fuji Green Tea Shampoo. I wash my hair twice with this and it's so soft and silky. And then I go in with the banana. I love the smell of that. I hate bananas. Actual fresh bananas are sticky, gooey, messy things. Ugh. But this is brilliant and you leave it in your hair and it makes it smooth. Oh, nice and smooth. Now, my hair's just left to dry here, but it does make it nice and smooth and soft feeling. <clears throat> and I do like it. I like it a lot. And that is there. Um, now, these are £8 each, the larger ones. And these are 16 but I got the buy one, get one half price. And then this was at 12 as a bonus, so I got some stock. Now, on to Bare Minerals. I went into Debenhams. As you know, I like going into Debenhams. And I had a gift card from work for £60. And I thought, hmm, I'm going to spend that at Bare Minerals. Why not? My favourite lipstick is on right at this minute from Bare Minerals. And so is my eye... Not eyeliner. Concealer. So hence, that is what I've got. I got another lipstick, which is, oh, what's it called? Naughty. Which suits me down to the ground. Naughty. And I'll show you what colour it is. It should be a red. There we are. Pinky red. It's nice. Can't wait to try that. I tried any of these. I've been waiting to do a video. <laughs> And, of course, a backup concealer, because mine is reeling out. You know I like my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. And here it is. And that is in the shade Fair, which is, as you can tell, Fair. But I do like this because it's a serum concealer. And for us, and for us with, um, how can I put it? Over 40 eyes underneath, you don't want something that's not serum in it. You need serum in it, serum. that hasn't got serum in it because it keeps your um, eyes hydrated. But there we go. And I also got the Skin Longevity Vital Power Gel Eye Cream. Blah, blah, blah. There you go. Put it back here so I don't go dark. I'm getting used to having a ring light. And um, it's the eye cream gel, and it's for my age group, which is over 40s. Um, if I didn't, because that's all you get. There, look. That is it. So if I didn't have a gift card, I'm not sure whether I would have bought it. But it does smell delightful. And I shall give that a go and see if it makes any difference to my under eyes and my hooded lids. I shall let you know. And last but not least is VE Cosmetics. I had to go back there. I needed a few bits to do a full face. And I'm going to be doing a full face and a full review and a full wear test of the VE Cosmetics um, range. And I have their eye primer there. I'll link VE Cosmetics and, all, and Bare Minerals and everything down below. But there's VE Com Cosmetics Eye Primer when it comes out please come out what am i doing wrong anyway i'll figure that out and get back to you and hopefully there is some eye primer in there um the next thing is i got noosh which is one of their new bullet lipsticks they uh, only do liquid lipsticks up until recently and i got it in a different shade i have not got a yellow lipsticky mustard yellow lipstick and I thought that will go with something that I have in mind something different so I have that and also here I got the liquid concealer now it's different this I got it in shade 2 which was I'm hoping is light enough and not too light and there's the component which is really really nice I like them I like the uh, witchcraft as well, look, witchcraft, and that concealer is, oh, might be too dark, I don't know, I don't know, it looks orangey here, but actually on camera it looks alright, so we shall see, 
we shall see what happens and whether I got the right shade but it does feel very ceremony um, on there it's it, she did say it wasn't a total matte concealer which is fantastic it was more liquidy and ceremony as she says but there you go it's slightly darker than the bare minerals but then I am getting more tan well I'm anemic that is one of the things that they said I was, that was wrong with me they keep asking me if I'm bleeding anywhere as well which is annoying because I'm not um well unless it's inside but anyway this is what all the tests are for but um yeah there you go so I am a lot lighter I'm normally a lot more tanned by now um but there there we go we shall see about that I can't get into it there we are a liquid lipstick that she sent to me for free as well as the uh, VE Cosmetics lashes oh that one's coming off don't come out that one there look which is the um, metallic ones I think yes they are so we'll have fun with I remember playing with these a few years ago but they're the metallic ones there now the reason she sent me these is not PR it's not PR at all um, the reason she sent me these is not PR I just that sometimes if you order quite a bit from her um, say over £20 or, or more she does throw in some freebies especially if you are returning customers and I don't tend to use the 10% off because I think well it's an indie brand they need help they need money and um, they don't need to be ripped off really so there we go um, but you are quite welcome to use the 10% off and she sent me knowing I like the green she has sent me a green lipstick yes and those eyelashes now the last but not least my camera keeps I don't know if you've noticed I keep upping I keep like up and then the camera comes down and up and camera my stand is now needing a new stand but there we go hey so I also got a riot girl and witchcraft and I'll show you what these are now these are new palettes that she's brought out in the last few months and I can't get it out here we are and this is the first one and it says the witching hour and look now you can see why i got this one <laughs> on my black days on my boring old black days and silver days i oh brilliant should we do a few swatches black silver the other silver and then matte black i shall show you what they are like oh dear the ear. There you go. And off goes my. Excuse me. Stay up there. There we go. Can't wait to use that. Can't wait to use that. That will be an all day, every day slap it on my eyes ones, definitely. And then there's Riot Girl. Riot Girl. And that one is. Oh, it's beautiful. Can I get it? There you are. Look. I've done that. I've got to learn to do this. I? Anyway, there we go. You can see it there. Beautiful. And I'll do a swatch of that yellow because I really, really need a swatch of that yellow. Oh, yeah. So, there we go. That is what I have hauled, I think. I'm just scanning over everything here. Yes, I've mentioned everything. That is what I have hauled in or bought for myself in march april and may and you will get a june's haul thank you stand you will get a june haul obviously if i buy anything in june um but i can't wait to try all these i've got black and silver and glitter everywhere and i hope you enjoyed this video it's a catch-up because at least as you know i haven't been around uh, from the end of March onwards so it's catch up but this is what I've ordered this is what I've bought and you can gather what's going to come up next <clears throat> thank you and you can gather what's going to come up next is a get ready with me using new products and we shall try this lot out now the Marc Jacobs thing I don't know if I mentioned it 
earlier is a freebie mascara from Marc Jacobs from Debenhams as, as a part of their, um, uh, you know, oh, you bought this much, you can have this for free sort of thing. And it's the Velvet Noir. Now, I'm not going to open it because I've got... For... My stand's a pain, isn't it? <laughs> oh, we go. Um, and... <laughs> I'm not going to open it just yet um, because I have many mascara. I think I've got three or four mascaras plus my three coloured ones open at the moment. But you'll see this in the future. Thank you ever so much for watching and uh, like and subscribe. Like this video. Then I know you like my hauls. That would be brilliant. And I shall see you very soon with my next video. Bye for now as I sink down.